breathe. Breathe in the air. Seeing. It's all clear again. The Yellow House is healing. My little introduction to uh, the, the, the cultural space I run. The Yellow House, we work at a bit of a different basis, and we have what I like to use is yellow culture, a bit different than any other culture I think you will see around the world. And what, we'd, what we like to do is focus on a few areas of culture through the arts. And one is a little bit different, I'll keep that to the end, a bit of yellow culture. The first one that we like to work on is theatre. That's, that's where our expertise lie, I would say. So that we, we will bring young people from the grassroots, from really where, you know, young people who have not really got any chance of doing anything in their lives. And this is what, what we come into and give them the opportunities. Theatre. Hmm. Think of theatre. What do you think of? You think of the big plays. Think of all the very theatrical, you know, let's do la 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 la. Uh, what I think of is a cup of tea. That's what I think of. When you see people sitting around a coffee table, or even you guys there sitting in front of you, a bit of theatre going on here, how you sit, how you look, how you laugh, you know. It, it's everyday theatre, that's what we like to work on. And it, it's really where, that's what I want to really push forward, is with the young people who are from the grassroots through the communities. And another uh, medium that we use is film. Is, uh, is film. And uh, world f cinema, that's what we like to use. Uh, and our, the founder of the charity centre at the back there, George McCain, uh, founded the charity 35 years ago, and he's a film fanatic. And all the young people that uh, come through the Yellow House um, become film fanatics. And I'm not talking about Fast and Furious or James Bond, you know, good movies are on their own. We're talking about the, the classics, yeah. Not modern cinema, the classics, that's what we like to say. And I'd say my favourite uh, movie would be Dreams by a Japanese director, Kurosawa. And um, I think with this, I don't know if anyone's seen it. It is not very structured. And it, it plays on imagination and it plays on like working with, working with scenery. Like, please go see it. Dreams, Kurosawa, it's fantastic. And another one we use is art. So we are working with working class young people. And you say, the arts, oh, not going to see that. But we introduce it in a, in a nice way, in a slow way. So George uh, took me to the National Gallery for the first time yesterday. And uh, for me, he was like, this is a Botticelli. I was like, I think I had one of them for breakfast. Um, <laughs> so it just, and then for me, he was explaining the history behind it. And it was, has anyone seen the Venus and Mars, Sandra Botticelli and the, the National? Uh, a fantastic piece of artwork. So, and for me, when I was growing up, I never was introduced to any of this in education or anything like that. I think that's a debate for another day, education in the UK. Um, but Yellow House, a, a word that's quite used a lot now is informal education. That's another medium that we use. And for me, it's that informal education. You will learn, you will learn math, science, and English. And in the eyes of formal education, I'm a failure. Yeah. I have, I've not got a degree. I've got no A-levels or anything like that. But I think... For me, I don't see myself as a failure. And I don't think the young people at the Yellow House do either. Uh, I've had, you know, I'm very happy to say that I'm an inspiration to some people. Yeah, I remember uh, last week, a young lad called Jack with autism. He's a week younger than me. And um, he just turned 18, in fact. And we thought, OK, we'll show him like, what it's like to be 18. Uh, so we were just talking to him, like, what, what he can do for his 18th birthday. And he asked me a question. How do you talk to girls? And I was like, how long have we got? And uh, you know, for me, I'm no expertise on uh, t uh, talking to girls in uh, no matter shape or form. Uh, but I think that informality of what is what I fell in love with the Yellow House, and it's why I'm working there now. You know, I think you get a lot of very very formal organisations that would it'd be safeguarded that we can't talk about that. It's you know, it's breaking the regulation of the point four documents and um, for me, we, we take safeguarding and health and safety into, into, of course, very, very serious. But for us is that we're not revenue funded, so we don't have to play by anyone's rules. Play by our own rules, our yellow rules. That's, a, that's what I like to call it. Yeah. And what I want to really stress is the yellow culture. And I mentioned a cup of tea before. 
we, we have a cultural space in Liverpool, and what we want to do is that uh, culture. Last week, I'll let you into uh, the, the, probably the most recent uh, bit of uh, intercultural into, um, into the Yellow House was, you see the pictures in the background, it was an artist from China called Yuan Gong, and he's one of the, the top 30 artists in China, and we had young people that you will see behind me, sorry, who you'll see behind me, who've never heard of Yuan Gong, never heard of art, never heard of culture, and they performed in his piece. I think that's amazing. We had people who don't have any GCSEs, and he sat, you know, never mind A-levels or degrees, never have two pennies to rub, rub together, to say what we say. And uh, the piece was called Hamlet Machine. And what it was, it was an adaptation on Shakespeare's Hamlet. And it looks a bit different. And we performed this, we rehearsed this in our cultural space, and it is now touring around the world. So for me to, to facilitate the cultural space where young people who don't have any chances get to not just, not just see art, be involved in culture, go along to a festival, go along to whatever. They're the leaders. You know, we'll say to a young person, they come to us and they say, I want to do a bit of art. And we say, okay, run a project, project manager, boom. And they're like, what? You know, they, they panic sometimes. But we provide the tools, we give them the tools, we give them the advice and the wisdom to pioneer their lives, pioneer their lives. And what we always want to do is have an outcome at the end of, the young, of, of, young, of a young person. So it was 11 years ago, it was certainly before my time, uh, but it was at the founders, George's time. There was a young lad called Chris, and he was, uh, th I think, 13 years old when uh, he first met Yellow House. And he was a little scallywag. Uh, so a scallywag in, in Liverpool lingo, as you would say, is, is, is grassroots. It's someone who's very hard. You know, I think he was about this big. Um, he's grew a little, he's at the back. And what Chris, that he's never heard of art, he's never heard of culture, he weren't interested. And uh, he came up and he was like, oh, what's art, what's culture? And through the Yellow House, through Yellow Culture, Chris has just uh, finished his degree in physical theatre. Hi, Chris. <laughs> and uh, Chris now works alongside me doing the artistic uh, side of Yellow House. We work together to create the, the culture and the art. And I think, I, I, th I think I've only got like 10 minutes, but I could go on for years and years about the success stories that, that come through the Yellow House. So I think uh, what I will finish with is that is to offer out the cultural space. Is that it was fantastic that um, we've heard all the cultural space, but none of them have been offered out. Uh, I think you can definitely contact. What I want to say, if, if you find yourself in Liverpool, come along, rehearse, create the piece of theatre, use our facilities. And for me, the most important thing that you can do in the Yellow House is have a cup of tea. And uh, we're in a young person in the Yellow House called Marco Polo. We call him King of the Teapots. And I, I assure you, he makes a good cup of tea. And uh, anyone from uh, all over the world, we have the Nafasi crew. Uh, and we, we'll show you a proper English cup of tea. I know you might not dip your biscuits in your cup of tea anywhere else in the world. That's what we do in the Yellow House. Yeah? So uh, I thank you for having me along. And uh, I'll be around after you. would like to come along to the Yellow House anytime. Thank you.